You're a little one of Christ. I was making a joke about my statue. About you being like a leprechaun. Right, right, right. right. Like, the, no, no. like the Green Goblin. Now, do you, on, do you honestly consider yourself a follower of Christ? I do. You do, right? So would Christ be cool with you destroying your body with chewing tobacco? First Corinthians. Our First body Corinthians. is a temple and built by the Holy Spirit according to Paul. So, and, and, uh, and you're defiling it with chewing tobacco. Right? Why would you do that if you're led by the Spirit of Christ? Dude, you got me, man. I, I've got to do that. <laughs> Listen, well, he, well, he's had you the whole time. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. What what words do you have to someone that's a lighter skin? That it has nothing to do so with skin tone. So if I don't see all kinds of skin tones up here. What are you talking about of a lighter skin? Well, you said, that, you about said that I'm an Edomite and that yes, I'm not, I don't have a birth right. You're Edomite. Right. It's not a skin tone. It's a nationality. Right. So you're, yes, you are evil. You are the devil in the Bible. That's right. Bring it up. What about this? Oh, you know, said, make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the. That's it. You know why he said that? What? Don't worry, I'll show you. James chapter one verse one. I was like, you're asking about it. You're asking about it. Ask the Lord about it. Ask the Acts chapter 2 and 5 makes it super clear. Huh. It's the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 5. Three. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem uh, Jews, Jews, Jews devout men, devout men out of every nation. Out of how many nations? Out of every nation. Why I got to go to every nation? Under heaven. Because there's Jews and there's Israelites <laughs> in every nation of America. Like That's there. why I have to go to the Greek. It's the book of James chapter 1 from the top. Uh-huh. James. A servant of God. James, a servant of God, read. And of the Lord Jesus Christ uh -huh. to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. The scattered is called the diaspora. Right. So that's why I gotta go to every disciple. That doesn't mean an Edomite to be a disciple. So Edomite is people who God have a right to be against forever. Well, I'll say this. God is the potter, he makes the clay, and the breeze, some vessels for destruction. And, and you so, sort of that business for the I'll humble myself. Yes. If I'm, if the I'm the a vessel for the destruction, I'll humble myself. The name of your forefather is Esau. Right. Esau means wasted. Your reputation is wasted, and the future of your people is wasted. Right. That's, that's what it all indicates. It refers to Esau. Right? Right. 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 Neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, uh -huh. according to election. Let me ask you something. Have you seriously considered that you could be an Edomite? You know what? I've had a conversation with the black people of Israel before. And Why you got to put black on? Hebrew Israelites. Their brothers, well, a short and his uh, sweats are black. Ain't nobody up here black. Right. right. So probably the Hebrew Israelites. Right. Very How do you know that your blood is Hebrew? How do I know diaspora? It, it, it has nothing to do with my blood. Who talked about blood? It's about lineage. It's about seed. That's what I mean. Seed. Now, now, blood is dealing with more than just lineage and seed. It's about if you're the seed of Israel. How do I know if I'm the seed of Israel? That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? It's 46. The very great indication that we're the seed of Israel. Right. Look at Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Uh huh. And they shall be upon thee. Uh -huh. They for, shall be upon thee, meaning the curses shall be upon thee. What? For a sign. For a sign, read. And for a wonder. Uh -huh. And upon thy seed uh -huh. forever. So the seed of Israel would have the curses of, upon them right. to be an indication that they, in fact, are the Israelites. Right. So Time. that's how I know. Right. I suffer the curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Right. That's At right. the hand. That's that's right. Right. That's, that's so that right. also lets me know who you are. Right. The Edomite. The devil that the Bible right. speaks of. Right? That's how the Holy Bible works, man. It is so beautiful that it cohesively works together to give us an understanding on who's who in a time where so much deception is going into the earth. Well, how would you minister to me then? How would you minister to me? Hey, how would I minister to you? Here's how I minister to you. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 23. Oh. Well, why don't y'all park and y'all can come and talk to us? All right, all right. We'd love, we love to have you. Go ahead. <laughs> That's right. Thanks Here's so what nice. I minister to you. Let me ask you a question, right? Your family goes back to where? I have no idea. What's your last name? Catlin. You said what? Catlin.
Catlin? Catlin. Catlin? Catlin. Shall be utterly wasted. They shall be utterly wasted. Verse 14. So what, what, all I'm telling you is to get a, ju a jump start on it right. and show that you're about that now. That's right. Or else your utter waste will soon will, will be short. There's uh -huh. no way around. Read. Verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee. The sons that afflicted thee. You are the sons of them that afflicted us. Read. Right. Shall come bending shall unto come thee. Shall come what? Come bending unto this thee. This is what time it is for you to right. come bending unto us. Read. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. If you're not ready to do that, man, you're not, you don't believe this, right? You don't right. believe this whole Bible. It says I despise the Son of God. It says I despise the Father. Hold on, no, it says the sons of God. Right. The guys you're looking at, the Israelites. Yes. That's, that's, that's right. Of God. right. Okay, the niggas, the spicks, as y'all call it, right? I've never said that. You, you gonna tell me you never said the N-word before? Absolutely. Oh, that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> What do you think you How are you going to judge me? You don't even know me. How am I going to judge you? First, uh, first uh, Corinthians 6. First off, what does that mean, judge not unless you be judged? With the same measure you judge, you shall be judged. Well, in right context, or wrong. it means take the plank out of your own eye before no, you... No, no, no. In, in, so in, in context, it means if I'm going to judge you, I should be ready to be judged by the same standard. Right? right. right. I'm not, I don't run from that. I'm not judging you. I would like myself to be judged. Right. Right? If I was the man of the society that you work, then I would deserve what you people are going to get. Right. Read that. Because Psalm chapter 58, verse 3. Uh -huh. The wicked are estranged from That's the womb. You're estranged from the womb, man. Read. They go astray uh -huh. as soon as they be born. As soon as you're born, read. Speaking lies. You're a damn liar. So you go, God, you never said the Crackle, please. Right. Right. That's unrealistic, man. All right, you, you guys, you can't fool me, man. I know your people, man. I'm not trying to fool anyone. No, no, you, you, what you tried to do is you tried to fool me, all right? You know what? You know who you look like? You watch, are you on TV? No. You don't watch TV at all? I don't have TV. You don't have TV? Since got, when? I got Netflix and Amazon Prime. You got Netflix. Well, on Netflix, there's a show it's called Lost. Have you seen it before? No. Uh, I'm no. Sorry. I'm well, sorry. Well, it's all right. You ain't have to see it. Ever check it out. There's a character named Benjamin Linus, right? You not only do you resemble him, but you're applying all the same tactics that he used in the show before he got found out in the stuff. But what happened is the individual who was making inquisition to him and interrogating him wasn't stupid enough to be hit with an Arab back then. The Arab dude, he wasn't playing none of that. Man. He was torturing him for all kinds of stuff because he knew that the white man is 
full of shit he knew it. That's right. Right? So read. The book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 21. Uh -huh. The words of his mouth. The words of your mouth, read. Were smoother than butter. I've never said, nigga, I love all people. The words in your mouth are smoother than butter, read. But war. But what? But war. But war, read. Was in his heart. That's all that's in your heart. You know it. And you can't convince me otherwise you can test because my heart. I, I, you can test I've my been heart. testing your heart. This brother was testing your heart right. since the moment you walked up and we've seen you lie. And we've seen you be totally stuck with your knowledge of the Bible. We've seen you contradict yourself when you admit it. You got me there. Here you are talking about you're the body of Christ, the temple of the Holy Spirit, and you would defile the temple of the Holy Spirit. Tobacco, like some type of silly baseball player, man. Right. Like some type of silly cowboy. Who the hell would even use chew tobacco? That's something that's always just totally defied my logic. Right. I'm just gonna chew on tobacco. Read that. It says, his words were tougher than oil, yet were they drawn toward. Uh-huh. Yet were they drawn so, so we know. Okay, so with the chewing tobacco. What does Jesus say about what defile of the man? Is it what goes into his body? Or is it, his body? <laughs> it took you this long to think about that? Not really. Oh, yeah. well, well, you, you would have said that when I first called you out on it. Right? Well, you guys so have been monopolizing the conversation okay, okay. quite a bit. So, so what does that mean? It's not what goes into the man that defiles him, but what comes out. What does that mean? That means that... Uh, that your people are the devil. Because what has come out of your people is all those things that he said is defiling right, man. Right, right. Rapes, murders, adultery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so the, can you get cancer from chewing tobacco? You do, but it happens. Right, so you can, yes or no? Sure. Does cancer defile you? It doesn't defile your heart. Hold on. So my mother-in-law has breast cancer. Are you saying that she's defiled? Yeah, well, you're, you're, listen, man. I hope your mother-in-law dies a horrible death. That's, that's right. right. That's all I need to hear. I know. That's right. I know. And, and you as well. All right. It's First Corinthians 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. He that is spiritual judges all things. <laughs> Yet he himself is judged of no man. He himself is judged of no man. So when people talk about judge, 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 they don't understand what the Bible talks about, that the Most High God is setting up judges in the earth under the order of the priest of the Melchizedek. Right. All right, to judge the earth, to tell people things, to make judgments for, uh, uh, predicated upon what we read in the Bible that the Holy Spirit guides us to, man. All right? People are totally negating that because they are so in fear of judgment, because they want to remain in their filthiness and in their sin. That's what people want to do. That's why they don't want to get judged, but we're going to call it out. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? It, 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 it joined your Saturday afternoon? Yes, sir. Have you heard about this before? I have. I okay. have. I, I have a couple of friends that are involved with it. Okay. All praise to the most high. Well, yeah, that's how you make it. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Appreciate you having me. Go ahead. I got a Bible verse for you, man. The Go book ahead. of uh, Psalms, chapter 119. Verse 59. Uh -huh. I thought on my ways. And turn my feet unto thy testimony. Uh -huh. Read. I made haste uh -huh. and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So that's what time you in to, to make haste and think on the ways of God's testimonies and turn to keeping them, brother. All right, Ken. Go ahead. Son.